everyone welcome back to my channel if you're new my name is Megan thanks so much for watching I like to make videos about mom things vegan lifestyle things and my weight loss journey today I am back with a weight loss update for you guys because it is the beginning of the month and that is just how I like to start my month off with I can't even speak English today that's how I like to start off the month on my channel so my goal for this month, I had several goals actually, was to lose five pounds, exercise twice a week, um, do daily supplements, and work on my splits. Some of those things happened, some of those things didn't. Before I get into everything about all of those goals, make sure you are subscribed and hit the bell so you don't miss any updates, and also go follow me over on my Instagram. Okay. Let's get into the nitty gritty of these goals and how I did. Um, so, I have been making use of this lovely Erin um, Condren planner that I got. I will link the video of me unboxing this beauty. Um, I finally invested in one for myself and I have actually found it useful in tracking my daily supplements. Let me see if I can show you guys. So down here I have a little uh, habit tracker. I got this um, little sticker. It's a sticker. I did not like make this myself or write it out other than like putting in like what I wanted and checking the boxes. I did do that part. Um, I got it from Planner Kate. I will link that in the description box that is also in my um Erin Condren unboxing I also unboxed the stickers that I got from Planner Kate as well as another shop I think I also shopped another shop I can't remember um but anyways on this little first page in the planner I kind of put like what videos I'm planning for the month my goals and then like some random to do's um the random to do's didn't happen they're going on this month this month as in september's to do's now and then um my goals some of which did happen most of which didn't happen there was literally only um one day this month that i didn't do all of my daily supplements so that is pretty exciting i'm going to take that for a win and I only exercised twice this month and the exercise that I did do was riding my dirt bike. So one of those times I did vlog and I put a very, very, very long vlog up on my channel here. And the other time was at a friend's um, private track at their birthday party, which was pretty fun. And that was just last weekend actually. Um, I didn't work on my splits, not even once. I've just been like way too tired. Um, I'll go into more detail as to why I think that might be later. Um, but I started out the month um, of August at, actually I'll go back to July 31st because that's where I ended my last weight loss update was on July 31st because that's just how it worked out best with like filming that weight loss update. And I ended the month of July on the 31st at 153.6 pounds. So my goal was to lose five pounds in the month of August and that would put me at 148.6. So um, in the month of August, I actually at one point got down to 148.0 on the 29th, but then I kind of like popped back up because weight loss is not linear. There are going to be some high days, some low days. That is honestly why I track my weight so vigilantly and so closely as I kind of see how different foods affect my body and it kind of keeps me accountable as to how I'm doing and as far as like what I'm eating and this month 
as far as staying on track with eating whole food, plant-based, no oil, and more starch solution-based. It was a rough month with that. Um, and it showed in my weight loss, and I can tell, and it's also showing in my skin. My skin is like a hot freaking mess, guys. Hot mess. I have no makeup on right now. You can tell. <sighs> it's a hot mess. Um, so, I actually, if I go from the 31st of July to the 31st of August, I met that goal like exactly. Because on August 31st, I was 148.6. Um, so that is a win. I will take it. Um, I have since lost a little bit more. For example, today is the 4th of September. And I am down to 148.2. So I've kind of been hovering like 148.0 up to 148.6 for the last week, which is kind of annoying, but it is what it is. And um, I have been having some things with oil and some more processed foods here and there. And it shows. It shows right here. Lovely. Um, <sighs> hot mess express. Um, so anyways, I'm happy that I met my goal. I'm a little bit, um, disappointed in myself that I got a little more lax than I would like to have, but I've been really just exhausted this month. Um, my full-time work has been exhausting. Having a toddler in itself is exhausting. My endometriosis has been exhausting. Um, I had my appointment this month, the month of August, I had my appointment with my new surgeon and basically found out that my previous surgeon left a whole bunch of endometriosis behind and I need surgery again. And I have to wait several months to have surgery because I have to save up vacation time in order to have surgery. So I have to suffer through for quite a bit longer and uh, yeah, it's just unfortunate, but it is what it is. So I'm just going to make the best of that because <sighs> there's really not much else I can do. Um, but I had also a um, some blood work ran recently. Actually, it was last Friday. I had blood work done. I had also a date with Wanda. People in the infertility endometriosis world know who Wanda is. For those who don't know, Wanda is a, a vaginal ultrasound. Um, so that was super fun. And I also had to have an ultrasound where like you have a full bladder. I've never had to do that before. That was quite the experience because I had to drive an hour and a half ish to the appointment. So by the time I got there, I had to like drink all this water, right? So I'm like literally about to burst because um, I realized that I'm pretty much chronically dehydrated because the amount of water that they needed me to drink before the appointment is typically the amount of water that I'm able to drink in an entire day. Um, because during the work day, like I'm in a mask and a face shield all day long and I have very little time to be able to drink water. So yeah, it was rough. It was very rough, but they were awesome. They were super nice. They got me back super quick and did the part they needed to do so that I could pee because literally I was going to explode. Um, but anyways, I will get the ultrasound results in a few weeks. Um, I already got my labs back though, and they're pretty concerning from a thyroid standpoint. Um, previously, I was on thyroid medications for the last, I don't know, like eight years or something like that. And when all of my vestibular migraine stuff started, I 
went off them thinking that the vertigo and stuff was related to that because I had switched from a typical thyroid medication to a compounded thyroid med, which is where like the pharmacist makes the medication like in-house. It's like a specialty kind of pharmacy. Um, so long story short, I went completely off thyroid meds and I've been off thyroid meds for uh, about nine months now or so, nine-ish months. So um, this is now the second time I've had blood work done. The last time I had blood work done, my thyroid levels were high, but still within range. And they were higher than they've ever been, but I didn't feel terrible. It was at like 2.0 or 2.1, something like that. Well, I just looked at my lab results and my thyroid stimulating hormone, which is the one that kind of looks at how hard your thyroid is working. It was over five, I think it was like 5.8. My thyroid levels have never been that high. And it used to be when my thyroid was at around a two, I would feel awful. And I think I'm just at like a point in my life where I don't have any choice but to keep pushing forward because I have a full-time job. Like I have to get up and take care of Seely. And so I do it. Um, whereas before kids, you like have a little more of an excuse if you know what I mean. I don't know. Um... So, like, now I don't have as much of an ability to just lay around. I mean, Wes is pretty great with letting me sleep in here or there because recently um, I have been needing to because of my migraines. Because um, if I get overly tired and don't get enough sleep, I get a migraine. So, anyways long story longer my thyroid is jacked up <laughs> so i gotta get that figured out but i see my doctor next week so i'm going to probably end up going back on meds um the good thing is that it's not really affecting my weight loss so much i don't think um, i mean that could definitely be why my weight loss is slowing down but what I am noticing is that anytime I wash my hair, brush my hair, touch my hair, look at my hair, I get a handful of hair that falls out. And it has been getting progressively worse. But it's kind of like one of those hindsight 2020 things. Um... It's like now that I see it, I can't unsee it, if you know what I mean. Um, so yeah, my thyroid's definitely jacked up. I got to get that figured out. So that will be the plan this month. So um, this month I have um, my naturopath appointment next week. And um, this week I actually also had a complete renal or kidney ultrasound to figure out if I have both kidneys or not because a lot of times people with a unicornuate uterus uh, don't. So that can happen because when you're forming in utero, the uterus, kidneys, and ovaries are really close together. So if you're missing part of your uterus, chances are you could be missing some other stuff too. So we're going to figure that out. Um, but I have the results of both of my ultrasounds um, appointment this month as well as that's going to be like my pre-op appointment and then I have my naturopath appointment next week and uh yeah so I have those two things going on um yeah so that's kind of like a health update and like where I'm at on my weight loss so let's get into my goals for this month. So my goal for this month, as far as weight loss goes, is I want to get to 145.0 pounds. 
145 is where I want to be. That is like my original goal, like as far back as I can remember from like 2010, maybe not that far back. Yeah, definitely not that far back. Like I was probably like 145 in 2010. Okay, so maybe like in 2014, that far back. Um, my like goal weight has always been, okay, let's get to 145. Um, so that's what I want to do this month. I don't want to put too much pressure on myself with everything going on with my thyroid, but I do want to clean up my diet and I want to get back on a good skincare routine. I was doing amazing with my skincare routine using my Monate products. I was using like the vitamin C serums and sunscreen and night creams and like all the things and really taking care of my skin and I have not been doing that over the past several months. I've been doing like the bare minimums like washing my face. That's it. Like not even putting on moisturizer. Like I could not make this up y'all. I'm terrible at taking care of myself. <sighs> Doctors make the worst patients. <laughs> so there's that. Um, I want to try to work out once a week. I'm downgrading this goal to once a week. I'm not going to be too strict on it. Um, obviously, like we are almost a week through September and I have not worked out one time, but I'm okay with it. Um, that is just like a get to it if you get to it kind of thing. But the other thing that I want to do is also stay consistent with my supplements and I am adding another supplement this month to my supplement routine. I just did an updated supplement routine this past month, but I am adding methylated folate back into my regimen because I had some other blood work that was off and I did my own Googling and figured it out. So, um, yeah. So anyways, let's recap really quickly um, on my goals. I want to get to 145. I want to exercise once a week. I want to do my supplements and get back on my skincare routine. I think those are the four things that I said in all of my ranting for this whole video that is now way longer than I intended it to be. That's how it always goes on my channel. Everything is longer than I've intended it to be. But anyways, that's gonna be it for this video, guys. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comments below. Give this video a big thumbs up. It really helps out my channel, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.